Allegations have surfaced against the North Dakota Veterans Home following our story on a 97-year-old vet kicked out of home in Lisbon. Now, the phone calls, emails, and social media messages have been flooding into our newsroom. And tonight, Valley News Team's Bradford Eric continues pressing officials for answers. Tonight, he sits down with one woman who fought to get her husband out. Marlene's husband, Vern, got sick a few years ago, needing more care. Vern was a veteran, so he checked into the North Dakota Veterans Home in Lisbon in 2013. I guess what bothered me a lot was the fact that they told me how good he was doing. At a meeting, staff members and Marlene discussed Vern's progress. The staff's consensus, he was doing well. A few days later, Marlene got a bill for Vern's care that was $3,000 more than normal. So then I called uh, the administrator. He knew nothing of it. She was furious and she wanted to know why, if her husband was doing so well, that his price of care had jumped so much. She called Mark Johnson and other officials at the home and they gave her the runaround. She reached out to VA officials in Fargo and they couldn't help. So once again, I made a round of calls, starting with state legislators for the Lisbon area. Representative Jerry Kelsch answered. He wasn't aware of any complaints and said lawmakers are not in charge of the facility. They simply appropriate the funding. Mark Johnson did not return my call, and neither did Gary Scarpel, chairman of the governing board. I could never recommend anybody to go down there. Her husband is now in a facility in Jamestown, and Marlene says it's like night and day. It was just like nobody cares. Nobody cares down there. Just come and do our thing and let the patient worry about themselves, I guess. Other allegations against the home include staff dispensing psychotropic drugs without the proper medical credentials, a hands-off approach to care, and a lack of special skills to deal with mental health problems. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Now please continue reaching out to us if you've experienced problems with the North Dakota Veterans Home. Remember, Valley News Team's Bradford Eric will be attending the next meeting of the Governing Board in July, and he's continuing to uncover just what goes on at the North Dakota Veterans Home. If you want to watch last night's story, head to valleynewslive.com and it's on our homepage.